Hey guys, um, posting a video so that you can stay up to date with the things that I've been doing. Since I'm not going to see you Friday, I am off, but Brianna should be going to your class uh, Friday morning and taking photos of you. So don't forget to dress in white, maybe even a white tee. You don't even have to dress in your scrubs because Brianna's going to be taking photos from you chest up. Uh, so look your best. So that's one reminder. The other Thing that I wanted to share with you is um, my meetings that I had last week and this week so I met with a few employers who um, are partnering with us in this grant and I have some interesting things to share with you and I wanted you to know first this is the good thing about being in a training like this because you're not gonna um, get information like this from just going to a job interview or learning it from somebody else who went on an interview so I it is my duty to tell you what you need to do so that you can get the best experience from this training and also to get a good job. So here are some things and I, I wish I can share everything with you but I don't want this video to be long. So I met with Homefront Healthcare. They are a home care agency and they're always hiring. They're looking, hiring and will train on site um, so that you can um, gain the experience that you need to be a CNA in home care. So if you're interested in that, I would encourage you to um, connect with the person that I met with. Her name is um, Mary Ann Mello. She'd be willing to meet with you and talk to you about the great things about being a home care CNA. Here's some things that you need to know about being a home care CNA. Sorry about the background noise, I'm outside. You need to have a car. You need to have a good driving record. And there is flexibility around visiting patients in their home. So they're actually residents. You're gonna be visiting them in their home. And the job of a CNA in home care is not the same as being in a nursing home or in an assisted living facility or in a hospital. So if you wanted to explore more, um, I would encourage you to set up a time to meet with Marianne Mello. If you need help with that, I'll help you with that, okay? The other thing is um, Jane Donahue of Scallop Shell Nursing Home. That's over in Peacedale. It's on the southern end of Rhode Island it is a bit of a drive but what a nice place and Jane is absolutely you know peach a peach to work with um, their starting wage is $11 an hour and they can move up uh, quickly um, in that um, the hourly wage there is a differential if you work at night um, they like to start per DM because they wanted to make sure what the commitment is between the employee and uh, the work that you do. So um, if you want to test out the opportunity to go there, I encourage you. I can set that up with, with you, uh, an informational interview. It's not necessarily a job interview, but if you wanted to learn more about that, that's something to, to consider. Um, and I should tell you that all of the facilities, they're all different. The level of work that you'll be doing as a CNA is different um, so one of the things that you should do is um, ask questions about what kind of work you'll do as a CNA if you do um, when you are ready to start looking for work Rhode Island Hospital they require a high school diploma and they do require experience however here's the good thing about it because you're a stepping up participant they are allowing us to consider you to apply for a position even though you may not have a lot of experience um, and will train on site. So if you have a high school diploma and you get your CNA license, then there is an opportunity for you to apply for jobs there and then you can kind of move your way up because there are certain specialties that you need to learn depending on what unit you're on so you can uh, get more training around that. Westview Nursing Home is in West Warwick, great facility as well as a nursing facility. So um, starting wage is also $11 an hour, closer to 12 actually. And um, depending on the, um, the hours that you work, you should know that being in a, in a healthcare facility in general, whether you're a CNA or not, facilities don't close. So your dream job as a CNA is not going to be Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So please get that out of your heads. You need to be flexible. Flexibility is key. Why? Because 
employers can be flexible with you. They know that you're starting a new job. This is very new for you. And you're not really going to know the job until you work in that facility because they have certain ways um, on how they train. So keep that in mind. If you are thinking that when you become a CNA that you're going to work Monday through Friday 9 to 5, this, just forget it. Like, don't even bother. But what I can tell you is if you're flexible, if you're willing to work weekends, nights, um, then you'll get really good benefits and perks. Most of these facilities start at 30 hours per week, which is considered full time. And that means that you are, you are eligible for benefits. So, you know, I think it's a great opportunity. But you must be willing to do the work. Holidays, weekends, nights. Um, Atria Lincoln Place. It's, it's in Lincoln. What a beautiful place. It's an assisted living facility. So compared to a nursing facility, this one is a little bit, I would say, as a CNA, you won't have that much strenuous work. However, I did hear from the nursing manager that she is looking for people that know how to do transfers, meaning body transfers. So you need to have you you need to make sure that you're comfortable moving a resident from one place to the other because they they need the assistance um, so that's one of the things that came up in that meeting um, but a great you know they have great perks I mean they reward their employees they give them gift cards they take them on trips I mean really nice here's one thing that you should know not all of the facilities do this but some do drug testing so when you go through interview process they do require drug testing and background checks that means that you have to urinate in a cup and they test uh, whether or not you have any trace of drugs um, and beyond that they'll let you know what you need to do so I can't tell you that they're not gonna hire you but they do have a process that they have to follow but they don't all do that do the drug testing um, fingerprinting as well so they do a national background check through fingerprinting and every facility is different but for the most part they ask you to fill out a form they run a check through a system in the computer and then they get back um, information about um, anything that comes up on that Coventry skilled in nursing um, I think you know they pay top dollar they start at 1130 an hour and there are differentials if you take second shift they'll give you an extra hour I'm sorry an extra dollar per hour uh, two dollars per hour for third shift and then if you commit to working weekends every weekend without stopping five dollars an hour more just letting you know and the full-time hours start at 32 hours per week um, some of the things that came up that they were concerned about is people arriving late and people oftentimes calling out so if you go on an interview and they tell you that there are specific hours that they're looking to fill and you say yeah 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 I'm available that's great and they walk you through the concerns that they have about lateness and everything oh yeah not a problem I'm not gonna be late then you start coming in late and you call out you know it's not gonna look good on your record I'm just letting you know right now so you know keep that in mind make a plan I can help you with that when you start looking for job opportunities you should also explore whether or not it's realistic for you to take that job and you can ask those questions at an interview so I encourage you to find out the hours uh, the flexibility um, the distance from where you're living to where you're going to work if it's realistic to travel um, a distance um, if you have a job already and you're looking for a second job in a nursing home as a CNA that might be tricky so think about that um, anyway I think that's it just another reminder receipts if you haven't handed those in to me please I'm still taking them um, I want to give you back some money we've got money to provide for you you know scrubs sneakers pretests BCI's um, and that's it and if you have any questions about anything send me a text you know how to reach me you can email me back um, but I wish you the best um, hopefully everything's going well and I'll follow up with you next week on other things that may be coming up bye